Welcome back. Maybe you know Tammy Pescatelli from her Showtime special, comedy special, More Funny Women of a Certain Age. But did you also know she's a mom self-isolating, mo like most of us, with her son, dealing with homeschooling and boredom, trying to do what she does best, find the funny in day to day to day to day today. <laughs> it keeps going today, on life. and on and on. <laughs> and we love to check in with Tammy at home because, Tammy, you're really just up the road from us, right? Like if you just drive north from Pittsburgh, you will eventually get to Tammy's house, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and I'm going to invite all of you as soon as we're allowed. Oh, <laughs> right, we're there. I feel like you probably make one heck of a meal. I don't, but my husband does. Is he the I'm cook? Not yeah, I used to, listen, I was on the road learning how to how to tell jokes, so I wasn't a great cook. I also am Italian. I thought once I learned how to cook, I'd have to get married. <laughs> we understand. Have you shaved, I shaved my mustache yesterday, actually. That's how Italian I am. That's the hard part of all this. I realized so many things during this quarantine. I'll tell you a few things I learned. I learned that bald people are actually lucky. How so? What do you mean? Their hair, bald people are lucky because no one has to do their hair. Oh, there's okay, nothing all right. Left. There's no gray hair. There's no berms. There's nothing yeah. that they have to worry about. I, they don't have to worry about any of the chaos. Did you see all this gray hair? I'm, I really have to put shoe polish on my head to fix it, right? <laughs> I've learned that technology and TikTok is not for everybody. Oh, well, see, TikTok is for me. I don't, is it not for you? Tammy? Did you have a bad experience, Tammy? Uh, no, but some people obviously did, and you might think it's for you, but you need to sometimes. I have never seen your videos, but oh. let me know. I haven't. I don't do it, but I'm apparently on it. You can actually <laughs> do me. You can do my voice, which is yes. a weird thing. I have to tell you, having to come out. I was I'm like, that's all I need to worry about is zombies that have inhabited my brain. <laughs> I was just telling David. There's this great sound effect about contouring with makeup, and which I can I can never. Is it con contouring? Contouring. <laughs> Look at this. He trying to figure out stuff. I have no idea. I don't know how to. Do it's like hag or drag at my house. I'm either completely hideous or I have on too much makeup. So it's fun. <laughs> Stop it. You are a beautiful uh, I, woman. I work it. All right. Um, what else have you learned, uh, here's Tammy? what I've learned. I'm sorry? What else have you learned? Uh, if you had to watch a video to learn how to wash your hands, you and I are probably never going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it was Mariah Carey or Gloria Gaynor. If you didn't know before, we aren't friends in the afterworld. <laughs> She's drawn um, lines now. <laughs> yes, we're definitely. I've oh, learned that so dogs are no respecter of persons or positions in your conference call. <laughs> 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 they got to go. They don't care if you're talking to the president of the World Health Organization. Right. They got to go. Right. It's very true. Um, I've learned that there's no book called Homeschool for Dummies. <laughs> oh, we can, okay, I can relate with you on this. This I, is a touch point for Heather. <laughs> Because my daughter's in kindergarten and I'm like lost. I'm like, okay, so we have, um, we have to do this and then you have to draw a picture of this and um, I'm just, I'm a mess. It, it's, it's so crazy. This one thing we know for sure is teachers are gonna get a huge raise after this if anybody in America has anything to say. Um, yes. I've learned that COVID from this point forward is going to affect everything, how we communicate. We won't shake hands. Oh. We won't uh, do some of the things that we wanted to do, but it's really going to affect fashion. How yeah. so? More than you uh -huh. Because conference calls, you look nice from the top up. But if you had a stand-up challenge in every conference call you've done, you would find out that most people have on sweats. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yes! <laughs> From the bottom down. Or hopefully they have pants on at all. Yeah, it may be a dangerous thing to have a stand-up challenge in a conference call right now with your work buddies. <laughs> you never so know. We've been still doing the uh, try to laugh once a day. I think that's been really helpful um, in our house, and I hope that you can take it to yours. We do Finding the Funny Family Style every Wednesday um, on Facebook Live at noon on my Facebook page. And I'm going to show you one of the ones. I'll give you a little joke. They're just silly kids jokes. Yeah. One little jokey joke is all you need to learn, and you can laugh for a little bit. And I'll send you one of our submissions was from a woman named Gail Chisholm. What do you call a cow with no legs? I don't know. I what? don't know. What? 
ground beef. Oh, oh. there you go. <laughs> oh, boy. But see, you guys can't grow them. These are kids' jokes. That's um, the idea. Oh, yeah, you no, you're supposed right? to grow them, right? Is not, it, it, that's, I'm not using them in my act. They're not in my special. But we're trying to make sure that kids continue to yeah. laugh yeah. because we certainly do not want to watch certain things we've been watching in our house. I've been taking the time to educate my son to comedians that have been around for years. This is we started with the court jester. So, but of course, there are no videos of that um, that he could watch anyway, uh, unless you're watching Game of Thrones. So, we watch things like um, the Three Stooges. Yeah. And we, I've been talking about that. Those are a lot of the Depression era, era comics came out of that time. We've watched uh, Laurel and Hardy. We've watched Abbott and Costello. Take time, and those are clean things that the kids could enjoy and you could watch as a family. Yeah. yeah, all good tips. They are. And you made us laugh again, as always, as Tammy. Always. We appreciate it. I love those red shoes you're kicking, Thanks. Heather. Thanks. I'm, I'm promising to wear sweatpants one of these days, Tammy. <laughs> well, listen, I don't think I'll be able to walk in heels. I think I'm going to be like a 12-year-old a colt again walking in heels. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. All right, thanks, Tammy. So good to see you. Bye, Tammy. Be safe. Yeah. And Thanks, you can you look for Tammy's Showtime special, More Women of a Certain Age, and on Facebook Live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon for Finding the Funny Family Style.